Well, I think we're celebrating the, the advent or the establishment in the UK of what I have no doubt will be the top streaming service in the world very shortly. Well, with my animated series, Prodigy, they're going to love it because the Brits love their kids and they love their Sunday mornings resting the mums and the dads, right? So they're going to turn on the television and they're going to see a cartoon called Star Trek Prodigy. And it's going to be about five very odd creatures and one hologramic Captain Janeway, who was a very decorated captain of Starfleet in her day. She's on this defunct starship. These five crowd into it. They are facing abject peril and she appears. And she says, if you listen to what I say, and you stop being reckless, and you stop being pugnacious, we're going to get off this planet, and you're all going to be saved. And it's a huge adventure in friendship, in trust, in hope, and finally, of course, in love. This song is like fun for all the family, a real appointment to view, you know? I can see well, it's going to be great, because the Star Trek prodigy children will be sitting next to their mothers, who watched me on Star Trek Voyager, and she will be sitting next to her mother, who watched Next Generation. And if there's one very great, great, great grandparent, they'll be watching the original series with Bill Shatner. So it's going to be intergenerational, and I think it's going to be thrilling. Wonderful. Uh, even the, the man who fell to earth alone has the brilliant, I really think he's brilliant, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Naomi Harris, and the divine, and I, I say this with absolute authenticity, Bill Nighy. Um, and you have the ladies from First Lady. You've got Viola Davis, whom I worked with. I was her chief of staff on, uh, when she played Michelle Obama. And you've got Michelle Pfeiffer. You've got Gillian Anderson. You've got everybody. It's great. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see Jessica Chastain and Michael Shannon. I just saw them. I want to see what they're up to. Uh, and of course, I love to see Kevin Costner. He is the single most attractive man on the earth. 